Hey, I'm Janet and I am just going to start filming because I'm never gonna, it's, camp's never gonna be cute enough. Um, and I, I'll just show you how it actually is now. Well, the good news is the view. This is uh, Clear Lake and it's a really gorgeous spot. I really love it. And I'm, I've set up a basic ferro cement structure and it's ready for a storm. Um, I don't know how ready I'm going to be for a storm at this point. I really want doors, but I'll, I'll show you what I'm dealing with today. Well, how about I show you the great news? So you can basically see this is the roof and this is hard as a rock. This is multiple layers of steel fencing zip tied together. And this is the solid foam insulation and these steel, there's uh, I think nine to 12 steel uh, fence posts that it's all attached to that are hit into the ground. The roof is actually, here's the, the chimney. Insul um, ventilation pipe and then it's going to and I had to zip tie the ladder to the structure I kept waiting for someone to come help me to hold the ladder but to no avail so I zip tied it and the ladder is actually quite lovely and the roof is really great. It's fun to go up there, but I'm not going to. But this is really, really strong. It's high hydraulic cement with basalt fibers and graphene added. So it's upwards of 15,000 PSI. You know, it could be 20,000 PSI in some places, maybe even more. And then, woo -hoo! Then, I'll show you my challenges today. Now, and I did this, this was actually very exciting. I did this burlap um, floor on the outside because tent was getting so I mean, camp was getting so dusty, and the tent was getting so dusty, and the bed was getting so dusty with the dogs. And so, burlap with that hydraulic cement powdered onto it. And then I stained some of it. I have to wait for more money for stain, but it's going to be this light um, clay color. And so what I've been dealing with today is my Camp Plux shower. And it's been challenging because the propane smells like propane when I turn it on, which they say, turn it off if that happens. So it's this uh, Camp Plux shower so the the box and it's just a little bit fresh cuz I'm definitely a do-it-yourselfer but I really do not like reading directions and when you're dealing with propane it's kind of dangerous and then when I turned it on I had to um, try to get it, the hot water I kept trying to see if it would click it's supposed to click with the the pilot light didn't click no hot water started but propane obviously seeped under the tent and into the tent which is no bueno 
So those are my challenges today. And what I'm going to do, I think today, and let's see if my tent is cute enough to share. These are my face. This is Liza and Sally. And they're keeping me sane through all of this. And as you can see, it's very strong, not very pretty. So all this layers and layers of steel fencing, um, the solid foam insulation. And over here is where I practice out throwing the hy hydraulic cement onto it. I stopped because it feels like it was wasting, some was falling, it wasn't very controlled, so I'm waiting to get a hopper, but it really, oh well, it's, it was, it was sticking fairly well. I think I'm going to do the first layer with the hopper with some glue, but once it's sprayed and dries, it's not going to be isolated unto itself it'll be like a solid sheet that is not going to go anywhere because it's really strong and sticks to each other it sticks to itself and then here's the the next step i think i'm going to seal off the ground today um and i got some free uh bags of cement that i'm mixing with perlite and putting on the floor i'm doing one part hydraulic cement with one part and I'll show you over here where I've done it already in the bed um, one part hydraulic cement to four parts perlite and then it's pretty strong in there what you, you kind of have to well Some of it's going to sweep away, apparently, the top layer. Um, but it's very insulative, and it makes it cheaper, the perlite. And I kind of think it makes it just a little bit more um, uh, you know, springier on the ground, not just solid, hard cement. And then... For now, I have some posts that are just holding the roof up a bit. Um, I'm going to take these down once I get the hopper in here and cement everything from the inside and do another round of 16,000 PSI cement on the roof. I'm, I'm very confident in the way that I put it on that it's very, very strong. I made a skylight with some plexiglass. I think I'm just going to insulate over it and cover it because it's really bright. But as you can see, it's a work in progress and um, I'm excited for the next step. And I'm excited to get trash service. Recycling is piling up. But it's worth it, I think. It's worth it for sure, because it'll be all mine. It'll be strong, fire-resistant, safe structure.